important to get free walls. This happened back in my town. I'm from Stockton, California. They put down a law that even private property owners can't paint nothing. And they just shut it, shut it all down. Homicides risen up like crazy. So I'm here to support the cause. I'm here to support my boy Poesia right here. Support. My name is Tanner Blackman. I'm a city planner for the city of LA. Close to the, the last year, it's been my job to find a solution to this stupid problem. So I've been um, workshopping kind of new ideas and new language with artists in the broader community. And that's how I got to know Daniel, where um, I also used to teach at SciArc, at the architecture school right here. And so I would see all of the new murals in the arts district and um, was introduced to him to help like get the word out. And, and he was been kind of a gatekeeper to me to introduce me to a lot of people to help sort of inform the new policy about how to allow murals in LA. Uh, I'm out here, I came with a stew and fucking uh, Sabres got their stuff in here and uh, Pyro and just a bunch of like grimy motherfuckers that evolved into something different and just came from the like, grimy ass like LA streets and a bunch of other artists from different places and just respectfully it's like me if you come from the streets and create into something else that's why I got love for you, I mean? To me this is why I live in the city so I can rub shoulders with art and people who make art and a lot of this art is very um, high level. I was surprised by the list of people that, that are doing this and it's really exciting. So, thanks. LA was once known as the mural capital of the world and unfortunately through some uh, litigation the big sign companies, the big corporations, uh, we put a moratorium on having more murals going up but we're now working on a new law, a new ordinance that would allow artists to get a blank screen once again in the public area to put up their art, do what they uh, do best. So I'm really excited about that. I want to thank Daniel Lahoda for uh, having this. This is an incredible thing here. You know what he's doing is uh, he's artists work independently and they're out there doing their stuff throughout LA and the Arts District in LA, but he's bringing them together and that's a good thing. You know, artists tend to be uh, uh, should I say this publicly disorganized at times because they're artists right they do their thing and and so what events like this galleries like this that are true that are real it's bringing the artists together that otherwise it wouldn't be happening so this is a great thing it's a beautiful thing it's in the heart of uh, the arts district where we talk so much today about Al downtown LA being transformed and all the revitalization it was the artists who started it they were the pioneers back in the 80s that moved here in no man's land Nobody else wanted to come here, and they've been here all this time, and they will continue to be here because we want to preserve this area for a place for them, for them to have their studios and everything else. It's a great thing. I think the artist movement, the arts movement in L.A. is growing and it's getting stronger, and events like this help make that happen. Los Angeles was always kind of like a beacon to us, you know, it was synonymous with innovation, has always been like pretty much the best like artists in our movement, like have been based here for a long time. And I'm speaking specifically about people mainly from MSK and AWR, which are two crews that I think are internationally you know, held in such a high regard. And uh, there's uh, the majority of the artists that are, um, you know, from a, that crew are just really kind of pushing and, and, uh, and moving the scene, you know, for the better, you know. And, um, and you know, I struck up a friendship with them and, uh, and I like coming out here and working with them and, and, and soaking up the inspiration. Uh, you know, and taking what I learned from my experience here back home, you know, and uh, that's traditionally the way it always went anyway, because a lot of people used to come out here, like from my city, uh, a lot of Mormon kids actually, like Pacific Island kids that were like, you know, raised in the Mormon church would come out here to do their mission. But you know, I don't know if they came back better Mormons, they just came back with like NWA and like photos of gang graffiti and fucking starter jackets and shit. And, that's when we all started our love affair with Los Angeles, I guess. Well, I pretty much come to LA like at least three times a year to like come and just kind of be around like the artists that have inspired me and whatnot. I've come here specifically for this show here at Lala Arts and, uh, and just to kind of get involved with all of the things that are happening downtown. out here supporting the homie Cryptic, uh, he's just part of our crew division. Uh, I've been bringing this guy out since like three months, like to shows, like yeah, I mean he's always out, like just exposing him from day one. Yeah. We 
here we are at the inauguration of La La Gallery in downtown Los Angeles, which is kind of a new home for uh, for all the street artists and graffiti writers from all around the world to come and feel like they have a home and a space where they can work and develop their talents. And so um, uh, we've been doing this for about two and a half years with the LA Free Walls project. We've got uh, we produced over 80 murals so far, and we'll continue to do that. But that's the infrastructure that really exists specifically to. Um, so anyways, that's the infrastructure, sorry, I was talking to some people earlier. But uh, that's, that's the infrastructure that really exists specifically um, to support, hey, what's up? All right, so specifically to support the gallery like this. And so we've been doing like all these murals and like, I mean, you can see like, if you just like, you know, move the camera over there, you'll, you'll get a feel for it. But it's just incredible to have this many people out here and to support the art and the people and the community and everything. So it's been really, really fun. We've really been developing the, um, the, the mural ordinance for Los Angeles because in a while, in 2002, um, there was a moratorium on any new like mural work or anything like that. And so essentially, um, since then, artists haven't been free to produce artwork and murals in Los Angeles. And it's really just been because of the fact that we're, like, my philosophy is it's just expression. You can't stop that. And so we just continue to do it. And at first, a lot of people were like, well, law enforcement in particular, really upset, you know, that we're kind of walking the line in this legal gray area uh, because the murals haven't been able to be permitted. And so, um, so it's been really important to develop this new ordinance to create a new set of expectations that kind of exist um, within, uh, like, on our terms, you know? So, like, no longer, like, is it any, like, bullshit about, like, formalizing art. It's all about being content neutral and being spontaneous and being able to improvise your art on the spot when you do it. And so stuff like that and, and things like that are really important to um, continuing to develop the movement in a really sustainable way. I mean, people should be free. That's what it comes down to. That's, you know, whether they want to like, wherever they want to paint, people should be free to, you know? As long as it doesn't get in the way of the other community members and shit like that, then like, yeah, it's totally fine. I think, I think uh, you know, the, yeah, people should have uh, the, People should, people should, it should be expected and it should be, it should be uh, appreciated when an artist does a, you know, work of art in a public space.